Hello! The goal of this lesson is to give you the tools you need to edit and master your recording. Mastering is the process of manipulating your recording to get it ready to be exported. Here, I've recorded two tracks. Let's have a listen. Four, two, five, three. Right now, they are playing at the same time and they sound jarbled. We need to use some tools to make this recording better. The first tool we're going to look at is the Select tool. The great news is, you already know how to use this tool. It works just like the cursor in Microsoft Word or Google Docs, and you use it just the same. It is used to select areas of audio you wish to manipulate. Let's go ahead and select the Select tool. When you have selected a section of audio, you can hit backspace or delete to delete it. If you ever delete something or do anything on Audacity by accident, you can select Edit, Undo, and it will undo the last action. Also, you can use Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac for a shortcut key. You can also copy and paste audio. Simply select the audio, Go to Edit, Copy, notice the shortcut for copy as well. Then go to where you want to paste the audio, select Edit, Paste, notice a shortcut for Paste as well, and voila, you've copied and pasted your audio. I'll hit Undo to get us back to where we started. The next tool we're going to use is the Time Shift tool. It can move chunks of audio within and between tracks. So let's select the Time Shift tool and simply click on chunks of audio and we can move them within and even between tracks. Let's move our second track so it makes sense with our first track. Notice that as I get it lined up, a yellow line will appear. This yellow line is Audacity, Audacity telling you that these tracks are perfectly lined up. Next, let's take a look at the gain control. Think of your recording as a water faucet. We've already got the water flowing with our audio that's been recorded. Gain is like the hot valve for our water and makes the recording hotter. The best way to hear this is for you to try manipulating the gain while listening to a recording. Let's try messing with it now and listen to our recording. Here's a bonus. If you press shift and click play, you can loop your audio, which means it plays over and over again until we press stop. This is helpful when working with short sections of audio. So let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four, five. So let's mess with the One, gain on the first track. Two, three, Four, and the second track. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Also notice, as the gain increases or decreases, the output level increases or decreases. One, two, three, four, five. Now that we've got the gain dialed in, let's look at our final tool. Equalization enhances audio through frequency manipulation. We can hear frequencies, audio frequencies, from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Equalization is a great way to manipulate recording and get some really cool effects. Here's how it works. Use the Select tool, highlight the audio you want to manipulate, click Effect, and Equalization. Right now this pulls up a pretty complex menu. This menu has, menu has many options, but the, the one we are going to focus on is Select Curve. This menu has a whole bunch of presets that come with Audacity that can make your audio sound pretty cool. For now, let's select Telephone, click OK, and have a listen to our audio. One, two, three, four, five. It makes it sound like we're speaking on the telephone. It's pretty cool. So this wraps up our mastering lesson. In the final lesson, 
we're going to get our audio from Audacity out into the real world.